a major disruption is occurring in the construction supply chain across all geographic regions and all sectors of the construction industry. Much the same as other industries, COVID-19 has had very disruptive impacts on the construction industry. However, as the saying goes, when it rains, it pours. Labor strife, logistics, and microclimate impacts are all working together to create a perfect storm that's resulting in wild swings in construction material prices and delays in delivery. Today, we're gonna to touch on some of our recommendations for contractors and municipalities for how you can account for these things in your current projects. From a COVID-19 standpoint, the global manufacturing supply chain is being slowed. In Canada, the National Association of Manufacturers is reporting that over 53% of its member companies are experiencing major operational disruptions. Every week, we're hearing about new industrial and logistics companies closing facilities and laying off workers to curb the spread of the virus. And many contributing industries are also experiencing these issues. The Seafarers Union, who represents cargo ship crews, have warned of a total shutdown of the Canadian shipping industry if a vaccine plan is not immediately developed. Border crossings are slowing down. And the manufacturing centers of critical construction materials, such as pipe fittings, and raw materials, such as brass and resin, are either having difficulty meeting demand or are hoarding these materials because they're in such short supply. All of this is leading to almost daily changes in the prices for pipes and fittings, as well as delays on the delivery of materials in the sewer and water main sector and in other critical complementary sectors. Since January of 2020, the price of commonly used building materials has reached historic levels. According to StatsCan, the cost for lumber and other wood products has increased by 180%. Steel products have increased by 150%. And fabricated metal and construction materials have increased by over 100%. And now we're seeing similar increases in the price of PVC pipe, municipal castings, copper tube, valve boxes, and many other municipal water products. These materials are sourced, designed, and produced in other areas of the world, as the global supply chain has become indispensable to the growth of the Ontario construction industry. While the price of building materials fluctuates constantly, this current volatility has made the normally smooth supply chain quite unpredictable. These latest supply chain challenges are expected to last through most of the 2021 construction season as the global economy recovers from COVID-19. So it's important to understand and account for the impact that these shortages and price spikes are going to have on your projects. And there are a number of things you can do to account for this. For construction companies, be aware of dynamic pricing on materials and expect delivery delays on your projects. Speak with your suppliers as early as possible, especially around your project start dates and about which materials you're going to need first. And for municipalities, now isn't the time to shy away from critical infrastructure projects. However, it is important to understand the impact that these logistical and COVID issues are going to have on your projects. There are a number of things that you can do to account for this. One, Ensure that your project budgets and expectations are in alignment with the current material costs before proceeding with tendering. Two, expedite project delivery timelines. A shorter bid approval timeline means prices from subcontractors and material suppliers can be locked in at a price included in the bid. Three, put in place a material payment adjustment clause or common materials index to deal with the price fluctuations of certain materials similar to the MTO's fuel price index. And four, plan your projects with all parties in the subcontractor and material supply chain as early as possible. Order in advance and pay for materials on arrival. Stay up to date on this issue by subscribing to our LinkedIn page and checking in with our website regularly. We'll be updating throughout the summer as this issue develops. In the meantime, stay safe and healthy.